Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to do a quick update on my A to Z project pan. I have a lot of new faces around the channel so this is essentially a project where I'm just picking an eyeshadow for every letter of the alphabet. So A through Z, finding a correlating shade for each letter and then my goal is ultimately to hit pan on those shades. We're about halfway through the project right now. I am debating keeping this as like a rolling project pan so once I get through letter Z just starting over with letter A. It's still up in the air but I do have some pans to share today so let's go ahead and jump right in. I would say this month is a pretty good month of progress, so we're gonna go ahead and start right away with letter F. This comes from my ColourPop All Amethyst palette. The shade we've been working on for letter F is Feb's Gem, which is this kind of orchid lavender matte right here. I used Feb's Gem six times this past month for a grand total of 16 uses in the project. And as you can see, I did hit a very small pan in Feb's Gem. I'm very excited about that because this was a shade that I was dreading working on and we did successfully hit pan. When I first started this project and it decided to roll in Feb's Gem, I was really feeling those warm purples, and by the time I actually kind of got to letter F, I just wasn't feeling it as much. I used Feb's Gem primarily as a crease shade and combined it mostly with my Natasha Denona Retro Palette and also my Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. For letter I, we've been working out of my ABH Riviera Palette, and the shade we've been working on for letter I is Inheritance, which is this yellow shimmer right here. I only used Inheritance twice over the past month for a grand total of 10 uses in the project. It is starting to look like there is a little dip forming. It isn't anything standout-ish. It definitely just looks like normal wear, but I'm hoping because these shades are so loosely pressed that I will be able to work through it pretty quickly. I feel like I just haven't been focusing on yellows, but I do have quite a few ideas. I do want to do a pink crease with the yellow on the lid and then also working in purples and maybe doing like a pink purple and yellow look. I feel like that would be really pretty. I just haven't gotten around to it, but we are slowly but surely starting to see some progress progress in inheritance. For letter K, I have been working out of my Luminous and Sir John the Lion King palette. This was a collab from I think 2018 or 2019 and the shade we picked was King, which is this nice warm toned matte brown right here. I used King 20 times since last update for a grand total of 30 uses in the project. And as you can see, it is so densely pressed, it still hardly looks used. Normally I try and concentrate my brush towards the middle of the eyeshadow pan, just so I'm getting a nice even wear. But if you can tell, if I turn it just right, you can kind of see that I am getting more wear towards the top of the pan. And I'm just gonna keep going with it. It does look like there's a little bit more of a dip towards the top of the pan but it's definitely nothing crazy yet. These shadows are so densely pressed, like this is 30 uses and you can still pretty distinctly see the design pressed into the shade. It is pressed extremely hard. I am hoping to make some more progress on it. I don't plan on having a rollout threshold for this project. With my project pan those eyeshadows, typically I will allow myself to roll something out after 20 uses if I'm not close to pan. But for this project in particular, my goal is ultimately to hit pan. So I feel like if I don't hit pan on King, then I might pick a different shade for letter K and try again. But I'd really like to hit pan. I feel like I've invested so much time and effort into this shade that it would disappoint me very much if I did not hit pan. But 30 uses is quite a bit for this project. Normally I feel like I can hit pan between 15 and 30 uses so to have 30 uses and still look almost untouched is pretty insane. I've used King primarily as a crease shade. I'm actually wearing King today kind of up here if you can kind of tell. I've mixed it with a couple other shades in my pan those eyeshadows but I am hoping to have more progress and will continue to work on it. Warm tone neutrals are not really the vibe going into spring, but I will definitely make the best of this shade. For letter L, I've been working out of my Kylie Cosmetics Nice palette, and the shade that we've been working on is Lullaby right at the bottom here. It is just this really nice warm tone neutrally shade. It almost reminds me of Orange Soda from the ABH Soft Glam palette. I used Lullaby 18 times this past month for a grand total of 29 uses in the project, and as you can see, I do have a pretty decent sized shiny pan poking through. I'm very excited to have another pan, it's the second pan this update. I've never panned a Kylie shadow before and honestly the pans are pretty deep. I feel like my only saving grace with this shade is the fact that it is so powdery and that I could combine it with both King and some of the shades in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. When doing my eye makeup I always go in with a cream or a white to set my eye primer or concealer or whatever I'm using that day and then I've been going in with Lullaby as a transition shade just on your really fluffy brush. 
and I'm pretty proud of how that pan is looking. I feel like sometimes when I hit pan, it's just this tiny little pan, and I feel like I'm cheating if I decide to roll it out, even though there's like the smallest sliver of pan, but I feel very confident rolling this one out with such a decent sized pan. There's definitely no mistaking that there is pan in this shade. Letter M we rolled in last month, and it is in the Through My Eyes palette by ColourPop, and the shade we rolled in is Mesmerize, and I only used Mesmerize four times since rolling it in, for a grand total of four uses in the project. I'm using Mesmerize today, just kind of in the middle portion of my lid. I went in with a bronze shimmer and then tapped Mesmerize right in the middle just to give it an extra little bit of sparkle. But overall, I feel like we are starting to see some use. It is a pretty crumbly shade, so with four uses, even though it did have a little wear prior to rolling it in, I feel like we're making pretty good progress on this shade and definitely think that we could hit pan in the next few months if I really focus my efforts on it. It is a beautiful shade and definitely one of my favorite eyeshadows I've ever worked on. Because we have two rollouts, I am going to be rolling in two new shades. So we're gonna be rolling in letters N and O. For letter N, I've decided to be a little bold and work out of my Jeffree Star Banana palette. And the shade I've chosen to roll in is Never Bitter which is this bottom shimmery shade right here. It is really pretty. It almost has kind of like a gold to green reflect, and it's almost a softer, puttier formula than most of the Jeffree Star shades. So I am curious to see if it will take me a while to hit pan. I have pan Jeffree shadows before, and they are extremely difficult and take absolute ages. But I'm hoping since King is going to be in for a while that I could have a second shade I'm also working on at the same time and maybe hit pan on two very difficult shades at the same time. And for letter O, I thought it was time for another give me shade. I've chosen to pull out my Irma Decay Naked Heat palette and I have chosen the shade Ounce, which is just this nice white shimmer shade. I have panned similar shades to this by using them as brow bone shades or inner corner highlights. So I feel like I could definitely make a significant amount of progress on this, even if I used it to set my eye primer. I am currently trying to finish another matte white slash cream shade, but I feel like I could put that on hold temporarily to work through Ounce. I don't feel like it'll take us very long to hit pan in Ounce, as I have hit pan in several of my naked palettes in the past. And I feel like while difficult, they are definitely nowhere near as difficult as the Jeffree Star or the Luminous shades. Here is the final color story swatched out. You can hardly see ounce at the bottom. I really like the warm tone color scheme we're going for. I feel like the yellow, especially now that we're heading into slightly warmer weather, would be fun. And I feel like I could even work the yellow into maybe some St. Patrick's type looks, green and yellow, or Packers, depending on how you want to play it. I do feel like these shades in particular, these middle three, King, Mesmerize, and Never Bitter, will be great everyday shades. And I feel like Never Bitter is just so gorgeous. I'm excited to see how much progress I make on that shade. That is all for today's update, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, if you're doing any panning projects, let me know. I love to binge my panning content. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed and you can also follow my makeup Instagram. All that is linked in the description below. I have a personal Instagram as well as a makeup Instagram, and I'm slowly starting to post more of my panning content over on Instagram as well. So if you want to have day-by-day -day updates, that is the place to check. But with that, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye friends!